Hello everyone, how you all doing? I don't know about you, but sometimes when I get long braids, it's just, I just get a headache from putting it in a bun and then air bonnet over it. Sometimes I just want it to hang loose. I think it's nicer that way. But now we have a solution, guys. We have an air bonnet that can accommodate that. <laughs> Let's get into the tutorial. So for the tutorial, we're going to need our tape measure, scissors, pins, safety pin, needle and thread two different sizes elastic so one measuring one inch width by your head measurement mine is 22 inch and then you're going to need half an inch um, elastic that measures six inch and you're a ruler of course it doesn't have to be as long as mine we're going to need two fabrics um because this is reversible our fabric measures 30 by 40 inch now get one of the fabric and fold it in half you're going to fold it that's the 40 inch side you're going to fold so when once you fold it it will measure 20 by 30 now on the folded edge you're going to measure 28 and a half so we're trying to measure the length of our air bonnet the length of our air bonnet is 27 inch plus one and a half for sewing allowance and the casing for our elastic so 28 and a half inches now at the bottom find the midpoint the midpoint here will be 10 inch because obviously it's 20 inch wide so when we find the midpoint it's 10 inch we'll do that for the top and the bottom also go to the open side and find the midpoint which is 15 inch because obviously the length is 30 inch half of 30 is 15 now let's just go over that again we're looking for the length at the folded edge then we'll find the midpoint at the bottom which is 10 inch and also at the top now we'll go to the side and find the other the midpoint which is 15 inch i hope that makes sense guys now we'll just make sure it's at the open part right okay so we'll go to the midpoint at the top and measure about three inch down just put a dot there and you see why we're doing that now we're going to freestyle you draw a line to meet the three point at uh, the three inch mark and then you come downwards from that three inch mark i'll just go over that again so from the length of the air bonnet to the three inch point then you come down slowly with a curve and then from that mark you're going to draw a straight line so it's like i don't know if you're used to sewing it's like um drawing a sleeve pattern that's what it looks like <laughs> once you finish it looks like a short sleeve basically so you just go round like so freestyle to join it and then do a straight line to the to the mark at the bottom i hope that makes sense guys i really want you to get this <laughs> so there we are we're just going to cut that and then we'll do that for the other fabric as well we're doing exactly the same thing for the other fabric so just cut that out and when you cut it out you'll see what i mean by it looks like a sleeve if you're used to sewing um or making patterns then yeah you will notice what i'm saying so just cut that out if you're new to my channel guys please do not forget to subscribe like and share like if you like <laughs> yeah just please share my videos and comment below if you've learned anything if it's well explained so i've cut um both fa both fabric and we're just going to put the right size together as per usual when you're uh, sewing and we're going to pin that together yeah my fabric could were not equal at the end of the day but don't worry we're going to trim all that off so don't worry just make sure 
it matches at the right places so we're just pinning the top and the bottom so what we're going to do is sew the top and we're going to sew the bottom and I'll show you what you're going to sew in a minute Now you're going to take your fabric to the machine and sew around the top like so just a curve at the top and then straight line at the bottom and there you go so the sides will be open turn your fabric the right side out and then just give it a quick press just to make it nice and neat and to just to make sure the fabrics are in in the right place so we're just going to give it a quick press and there we have it we've ironed our fabric now we're going to join the fabric join start from the top seam please so join the seams like this I'm just going to show you that again <laughs> So, hold the top fabric and just join the seams first. So, right sides facing each other. Join the seams first, like that. Join the other seams so it's nice and equal. I'm just going to pin that down. I hope this makes sense, guys. I hope I'm explaining this well but if you just pay attention to what I'm doing you will definitely get it so we're going to pin the fabric pin it all the way around we're gonna go all the way around till we get to the orange fabric as well and keep going make sure the seams matches that's the bottom same as well make sure it matches and there you have it and we just go all the way around So there you have it, I'm going to sew around like so, leave a gap in the middle, about 2 inch gap and then just go around and there you have it, we have sewn our fabric, I'm just trimming off excess um, fabric but make sure you don't trim off the excess fabric by where you've left it open as you can see. And just avoiding cutting off the excess fabric from the opening because we'll be needing that later so from the opening you're going to push your fabric through to the right side okay And there's our opening we've turned our fabric right side out we're getting there we're getting there now it's time to make the casing so for the casing if you're used to making a bonnet or making casing for on the fabric then you should you should have an idea what we're doing next so what we're going to do is just measure round the top the top bit it looks like a shell <laughs> doesn't it or like a cone so the top bit will be using the one inch elastic so because the elastic is one inch 
we're going to measure one and a quarter inch for the casing just to give it a wiggle room for the elastic to go through easily when we're pushing it through so we're just measuring one and a quarter inch all the way around the wide part where the wider part of the bonnet which will be for the the one um, where your head goes through so that goes all just so all the way around make sure you know you don't use a pen like I am I need to get chalk seriously and then we do the same for the bottom part of the hair bonnet we're measuring one inch for this because um, the elastic is half an inch almost one um, half an inch so we're making making the case in one inch now to insert the elastic we'll go through our opening remember the opening at the side will go through oh yeah when you're making your casing make sure you leave a gap don't sew it all the way through don't sew it all the way around leave a gap so you'll be able to insert your elastic i should have mentioned that um earlier just leave a gap just a tiny bit just about one inch gap so you can push your elastic through so there we go Make sure you don't lose the other end of your elastic, please. Or else you have to start all over again. So I'm being gentle. With, with I'm being really careful not to pull it through. But if you know you're going to forget, <laughs> then use a clip or, some, um, or another safe, safety pin to hold the other end. But there you have it. We'll push it through. What you're going to do now is just sew your elastic with a zigzag stitch so we can to just hold it in place. So take it to the sewing machine and do zigzag stitch. And there you go. Trim off any excess. For my elastic for the for the one inch elastic, I use 22 inch elastic. My head measures about 23 to 24 inches, so I tend to take away about one or two inches when I'm um, measuring for um, measuring air bonnet elastics. Now we're moving to the bottom. We're doing the same thing for the bottom. The elastic is six inch long and half an inch wide, so we're just going to thread that through because this elastic is short. So I'm going to clip the ends to the fabric and then push the rest through. Just keep going till you come out at the other side. I was really excited to <laughs> do this hair bonnet um, tutorial to show you guys because I've been thinking of how to do it all this while. So yeah, it's fantastic to finally learn how to do this. So I'm just going to obviously secure the ends with a zigzag stitch and there you have it and push it through. So now we're done guys. All we need to do is just um, close up the opening at the side and also obviously close up the opening for the casing as well. And I'm just using needle and thread to do a blind stitch. It's not my blind stitch is not really clear on this camera. I'll try and make a video, but there's loads of video on YouTube on how to make a blind stitch. It just makes it look um, seamless, you know. It makes everything rhyme. Um, instead of having to use um, your sewing machine to top stitch, you just use a blind stitch to close everything up and there we go guys it's nice and easy isn't it i made this this was my first trial and i'm still going to make another video on that um there's some adjustments i need to do on that one because it's a bit tight around the head um so i'm going to try that again but definitely i know what to do this time to make it perfect so i'll be showing you guys so you can stay tuned for that 
I'll be posting that soon sometime. But yeah, I'm just showing you. This comes with a strap. So it's, I prefer this one with the strap, to be honest. I think it looks nicer. And you can sort of adjust it to how tight you want it and all that. I'm just showing you. So guys, comment in the section below which one you prefer, the one with the elastic or this one with the strap. And this one is made out of Ankara fabric as well. I really like this actually. I'm definitely going to make this and make a video to show you guys how it's done. And this is our finished product. And this is what it looks like on my mannequin. Thank you so much guys for watching. Um, I hope you've learned something today and if you have please don't forget to comment like and share take care guys and have a blessed week bye